Hello again and welcome. Four new livestock additions to the tank today, all very, very small. One blue neon goby, two golden neon, uh, neon gobies, and a nano goby. The nano goby went into the tank, disappeared, haven't seen since. But one of the golden neon gobies behind the, the clown just then. But he's in the, the rock right ahead of you. This rock looks a little bit like uh, a cactus, so we call it the cactus rock. But you can just see him in there. He went in there, went straight into that area there. And he's been there now for several hours, or a couple of hours at the very, very least. Seems to like it there. Um, the blue and the other gold neon goby seem to be hanging out together, but unfortunately, a little bit difficult to see. Let's see if we can see the... There's the blue neon goby. Let's see if we can get to them over here. There they are in the corner. Can you see them? There, there's the blue, and just below him, the gold. They're hanging out together all the time. Really peculiar. Lovely to see. The orchid dotty back saw the neon blue and decided wanted a bit of action just for a few seconds and then he's left it alone. Both of the clowns went over to them and had a look and not bothered since. Swim quite happily by them and there are no issues. You can just see eggs in earlier, a few of those with some mysis shrimp, and uh, he came out to have a look, which was nice, haven't seen him for a while. The orange spot goby has been very active around the, the tank. There we go. Very active around the tank. Again, nice to see, because this morning when I came down, all of the, most of the sand bed anyway, particularly over to the left hand side, was covered in cobweb diatoms. And when the goby got to work, totally ignoring them, but cleaning over the sand, he's lifting the threads of the diatoms up into the water column so they can eventually be taken out. Still no sign of the orange head goby. Sorry, orange head wrasse. Time will tell. Here we have an orange fungia. Lovely orange on the top with a lavender skirt. And also the green fungi. Yeah, his tentacles came out straight away, so he seems very happy. The orange fungi doesn't have them. Really nice to see. the pulsing zinnias just a little bit and may move them back again. The A-can there on the rock just coming out a little bit more. Now I see some blue and maroonish on them. Hammer's doing very well, quite happy sitting there. Nice colours, I'm going to try and find a different coloured one for there. Still looking for a torch. Saw several today, but not anything special. The papaya clove is beginning to open more and more. Memory serves, I counted 11 heads on that this morning. They're beginning to open up a lot more now, so they'll start growing. Goniopora is doing very well still. Very, very happy with those. I know they're not the easiest and they shouldn't be put into a new tank, but I'm only human and it's beautiful. So does that one. Doing well. Frog spawn quite happy up there. I hope he's going to open out a little bit more so we can actually get to see the green. Look at those popping colours, aren't they 
gorgeous. Still waiting for the zoas behind them and up on Everest too, which you won't be able to see at the moment because I've got them way at the top just there for the moment. Um, not opening up yet, but again, they were probably fragged on Tuesday because I got them on Wednesday. So they do need to have the opportunity of settling in. So it's probably going to be a week or so before they start opening and they've got some quite good coloration to them. under there quite happy. There's a cleaner shrimp in his station just up there. <laughs> they seem to both have taken up residence there. And then we have the Zoa Garden there with the conch who was having a good old clean of that Zoa Garden earlier which was nice. And that conch, he's a late riser, he gets up about midday and he has breakfast in bed and then once he gets up he really starts to mose down he's just like that non-stop absolutely gorgeous to see really is very very clever just see flashes of the have finally come to some form of demise. I had three in there to start with and I did actually see all three for a while. I know they come out at night more than anything so chances are I won't see much of them but there's certainly one I still see here at the moment is under the uh, the pulsing zinnia that part on the right he's just on that under that little bit of a rock there that's his place today. But he's the only one I get to see at all the other two completely not seen for ages. It's a shame because the diatoms are coming back up there and they're the ones that keep them down. So we'll see whether they uh, they do come out tonight and start doing a bit more of a cleaning operation. The orange stop, spot goby, as busy as ever, started to actually swim a little bit higher, we noticed today, which is a first. He's been keeping to the sand bed completely, but now suddenly he started to look up a little bit onto the rocks as well, having a good look around. Right, everything is used up. Again, under Wembley Stadium. You kids. Well busy. All the time. And it was nice with all of these strands of diatoms. coat at the moment, got rid of that big old one yesterday. But yes, the goby was totally ignorant of all of the cobweb diatoms, just carried on in his normal way, which is great because he was breaking up the strands and getting them into the water column. There's still some of them floating around now, so it does take a while to get the stuff out of the water column here, which again is a good thing when feeding, because it means the food stays in there so much longer. There's the, uh, the dotty back. hunting um, the copy pods, the Trichoporus japonicus that I put in there. It does seem to be playing, paying quite close attention to the rock at times, so I'm, I wonder. Lovely to see. day on the reef. Look 
looking good. Getting more colour. These zoas, when I looked at them very closely the other day, they've got a yellow centre. At the moment, the lights are beginning to change, but a yellow centre, uh, orange around that then the, the bit of brown that you can see and then the green tentacles but then double layered tentacles so there's actually two rows of tentacles uh, which is really quite nice to see seems to like it there as well everything nicely settled down they're not blowing around all over the place as again i just tweaked the uh recycle pumps well there's henry making an appearance let's see if we can try and get him Cooper, the boxing shrimp, shine retiring. There he is. Slow, deliberate movements in his new skin. He's got those two large claws, the long arms with the claws, and then he's got two of the most dainty little claws as well. There's the conch, we had a really good clean of that zoa garden earlier, seems to be hanging around in that area, although we were sleeping underneath Wembley Stadium, it's now well over this side, it's been over here most of the day. to open. Well, they're beginning to, which again is nice. We might see more of them now, the actual colour. The clown's very active, going from side to side. very active. Seem to be having a swim from side to side quite often at the moment. Also notice where the goby is at the bottom there in the corner. There's a dip and I don't know whether it's the goby or whether it's the clowns that did that, made that little depression down there. Time will tell. If you have watched this far, thank you. If you have watched this far, thank you. And see you on the next one.